Roosevelt University and Loyola University. I don't know how he missed Columbia College. Uh, he directed a live uh, production of Rope that opens tomorrow at 9 o'clock at the Chicago Dramatists as part of the Rhino Festival, and he has a tech rehearsal to stand this evening. So I hold Not get dead because this is going to get around the internet. Right. Right. I was just lowering the gear of my pint when I saw the citizen getting up to waddle to the door, huffing and puffing like the dropsy, and hey, cursing the curse of Cromwell on bloom, bell, book, and candle, and showing little elf round him like a leprechaun trying to pacify him. Let me alone, he says, hey, and big gob, he got as far as the door, they holding him, and he balls out, three chairs for Israel! <laughs> and all the ragamuffins in the slopes of the nation round the door, telling the derby to drive ahead, and the citizen bawling on his high horse about the Jews, and the loafers calling for a speech, and Jack Power trying to get Bloom to sit down on the car, and told his brother John a loafer with a patch over his eye, he starts singing, If the man in the moon was a Jew, 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 and the slut shouts out of her, I missed her! Your fly is open, mister! And says Bloom, Mendelssohn was a Jew, and Karl Marx, and Spinoza, and the Savior was a Jew, and his father was a Jew! You're God! Who's God, says the citizen? Christ was a Jew, like me, says Bloom. And God, the citizens made a plunge. By Jesus, says he, I'll bring that bloody Jew man for using the holy name. I'll crucify him here, so I will. Give us that biscuit box here. Stop! Stop, says Joe. But God, the devil wouldn't stop him till he got hold of the bloody tin anyhow. And little Alf hanging on his elbow, and he shouting like a stoop pig, and as good as any play in the Queen's Royal Theatre. Where is he till I murder him? And then, J.J. Paradise was laughing. <laughs> Bloody war, says I. But as luck would have it, the Charlie got to the nag's head round the other way and off with him. Hold on, citizen, says Joe. Stop! But because he drew his hand and made a swipe and fly. Mercy of God, the sun was in his eyes, or he'd have left them for dead. The bloody nag took fright, and the citizen's old mongrel after the car like bloody hell, and the populace shouting and laughing, and the other tin pots shattering along the street. What a choice. Wow! Time to think was terrific and instantaneous in its effect. The observatory of Dunsink registered in all 11 shocks. There is no record of extent of similar seismic disturbance in our island since the earthquake of 1534, the rear of the rebellion of Silken Thomas. You never saw the like of it in all your born puff. Be gone, the Jarvis saved Bloom's life by furious driving, as sure as God made Moses. And the citizen let out a volley of oaths after him. Did I kill him, says he, or what? And he's shouting out to the bloody dog, After him, Gary! After him, boy! And the last we saw the bloody car rounding the corner, an old sheep's face on it, gesticulating, and the bloody mongrel after it, for all he was bloody well worth to tear him limb from limb. When, lo, there came them all a great brightness, and they beheld the chariot wherein he stood to ascend to heaven. And they beheld him in the chariot, clothed upon in the glory of brightness, having raiment as of the sun, fair as the moon, and terrible for their awe, they durst not look upon him. And there came a voice out of heaven, calling, Elijah! Elijah! And he answered with a main cry, Abba! Adonai! Abba! And they beheld him, even him, Ben Broom, Elijah, amid clouds of angels ascend to the glory of the brightness, at an angle of 45 degrees over O'Donoghue's in Little Green Street, like a shot of a shovel. <laughs> <laughs>